On today's episode of RC Kicks, we're taking a look at this. This is a brand new kit that's offered by Schumacher. It's a front wheel drive Mission FT. Now, this is an entry into their racing cars and they offer lots of different levels and price points. So this has been brought out to get people into this class. Now you can buy an upgrade kit and change this into a four wheel drive car if you want at a later date, but it comes pre-set up as a front wheel drive car. Now being that it's a racing car, you have to choose your own body and wheels and tires and things like that. So this is the K187 and it requires, uh, that's not in the box, a body shell, paint, radio control, motor, wheels, tires, inserts, pinion gears, batteries, and a speed controller. So let's open the box up and see what you get for your money. Uh. Welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, we're taking a look at a brand new kit from Schumacher. Now, this is a tarmac uh, or indoor track racing car. Now, this is a bit different for me because mainly I'm more into the buggies and stuff like that. Now, the thing that drew me to this one is it's a actual front wheel drive car and it has the motor mounted over the front wheels. Now, being a racing car, it has lots of ways that you can adjust all the toe in, toe out and things like that. It also comes with anti-roll bars on the front and the rear, but you mainly just get the chassis. You have to choose things like your tires, your wheels, your electronics, your motors, your pinions and your body. Now, the body that I've gone for the, for this car is the actual one that they're advertising on the Schumacher website. I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like, but currently it kind of looks like that. Now, before we dive into this kit, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to LNL Models for sponsoring the show. Now, LNL Models do all kinds of electronics and kits and things like that, but they are specialized in making bodies, especially for vintage UK cars like the old Escorts and Sierra Cosworths and things like that. So I can highly recommend you go check them out and they're a friendly bunch over there and a big thanks to them for supporting the show. Right, let's open up the box and see what you get. Now going on the back of it, it's got things like rear inboard tow-in options, um, it's got adjustable shocks, it takes a lipo pack, which is a thing that I really chuffed to see, because if, um, I, if you haven't seen a build I did last week, I actually built a classic Schumacher Top Cat on the show, and it needed a shorty lipo battery, which in the end I purchased for that car, but I don't really like buying a, a single battery for one car. Well, it turns out that's what this car runs on too, so I'm kind of chuffed in the end that I pulled the trigger on that one, because uh, I would have had to get one for this anyway, so so it kind of justifies the cost. Right, let's open it up and see what you really get for your money. It's a small box, so uh, yes. <laughs> I need to get hold of some tires and wheels. I don't have those yet, but I do have quite a few laying around that I can make do with now until I build the kit and then see what kind of offsets I need for that body. So what do you get? Well, Schumacher builds in a very different way to Tamiya, for instance. The way they do it is they bag them up in groups and each set is in its own bag. So in the manual, you'll get page one, step one will be a bag, step two will be another bag, step three will be another bag, and so on and so forth. And they're grouped into like their first part of the build, then the second part of the build and things like that. So you, are, you do spend quite a lot of time opening up lots of plastic bags with Schumacher kits and you end up with lots of staples everywhere. But it means that when you start off, you don't have to lay everything out and open all your bags out. It's better just to start with the one bag, open it out and build that section and then move on to the next section. So it is a little bit different. If you haven't built Schumacher before, don't panic too much. You know, it's not difficult. It's, it's just different, so it just takes a bit of getting used to. Now, one kit that I really enjoyed building from Schumacher was the Top Cat that I had last week. One car that I really hated building, which was the XLS, 
from Schumacher up here, even though I love that car. So it'll be interesting to see what their new kits are like versus what their old vintage kits are like. Now, I'm assuming we're gonna see a bit more precision in these kits. So what have we got? We've got mainly some gears, some tools. We've got a set of uh, liquids, which are diff silicons, uh, shock oils, all different weights and things like that. Some anodized bling, which is the adjustable shocks, which is nice, and a bumper. A lot of turnbuckles in this car. Another bag, what we got, we have bearings as well. So yeah, that's good to see. So you don't get wheels, tires or anything else, but you get bearings, which is good. But all I'm seeing is lots and lots of turnbuckles. So obviously highly adjustable. Now this has got, wow, it hasn't got, it's not using dog bones. That's nice to see. Now I don't think the chassis is carbon fiber. I can't tell, I'm not sure what it is. Does it say? No, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. If I find out what the chassis is made of, I'll put it below. The anti-roll bars, like I've said, front and rear, and more turnbuckles. Then the decals, like most things you get from Schumacher with decals, you just get writing. You don't get lots and lots of graphics, art, and stuff like that. It's a racing car. You probably would normally have three or four bodies that you would run through a season, and usually you'd spray them up quite simple because they're just there to get used. And then here's the manual. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to cut to a close-up shot of all these so you can get a better look at what you get in the kit, and then we'll be right back. There you go just a quick look at what you get in the box joke aside now there's sure there'll be a few upgrade parts and bits and pieces for this so i'll keep an eye out for what comes out so maybe later on we'll do some modifications and some upgrades to it now this is the body that i'm going to put on the car it's exactly the one that you see at, on schumacher's website that they're advertising it with on their website now if you're interested in this body as well it's an under mt01 9017 and it's the Montec 308 TCR front wheel drive body and that's the one that fits this car but there's lots of bodies you can get for this as well but I thought hey why not just do it like they advertised it anyway thanks very much please like and subscribe and if you'd like to support the channel head over to the Patreon account I'll put a link below and a massive thanks to LNL models for supporting the show now there should be a Halloween special coming hopefully fingers crossed so stay tuned otherwise if that doesn't turn out then I'll probably be building this see you soon bye Check out one of these videos for some more RC fun.